Hi, I'm Mandy, and today I'm going to show you how you can, for real, charge your electric vehicle at a campground. And I'm gonna try to tell you quickly because there is a tiny break in the rain. And if you can hear the thunder, a big storm is about to pass through. I have a very beautiful 2022 Ford E-Transit cargo van that I love so much. She requires a lot of charging though. And a campground is a great and inexpensive way to charge your vehicle. I am going to show you how to do it using the 20 amp outlet, which is this little one here, the 30 amp outlet, which is the one in the middle, and the 50 amp, which is all the way on the end over here. All I'm going to be using is an adapter and the portable charging unit that came with the purchase of this vehicle from Ford. With this portable charger, you will have a 20 amp <laughs> connector and a 50 amp connector. Those are your only two options. To charge using the 30 amp, you will need one of these. And I'll talk more about this one in just a moment. I'm going to go in this order, 20, 50, and then the 30, so that I can show you how to do it with just the charging unit that came with my van. And hopefully <laughs> you'll have kind of the same thing with whatever electric vehicle you have. This end goes into the vehicle and I'll do everything here at the power pedal still first and then connect this side to my adventure vehicle at the end. I'm going to show you first without any surge protectors in case you don't have any, but ideally you want to do this with a surge protector. Starting with the 20 amp connector, you want to make sure that your power switches are completely off to the whole entire power pedestal. You also want to wiggle all of your switches and make sure that nothing is loose. If anything is loose, then do not use it and you want to get a campground member to assist you. And don't forget to check to make sure that all of your electrical connections are good. And there's a whole nother video on how to check your electricity at your campground. So before you do this, be sure to check to make sure that you do not have any kind of reverse polarity or under or over voltage. You want everything to be working as it should. I'm going to take my 20 amp connector and plug it in to the base of my portable charger. <laughs> okay, and you want to make sure that your 20 amp outlet is facing ground down. These 20 amp outlets have one vertical hot side, a vertical neutral side, and then the half circle is the ground. You can only do this if you have your outlet ground down. So if the ground is on the bottom of the outlet, <laughs> then you can do this. If it is reverse, you will not be able to do this. So I'm going to plug it in, flip my switch to on, and then I would be good to plug this into my vehicle. 
to unplug, I'm going to turn the switch off. And... <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> I'm going to remove this so that I can swap it out with the 50 amp connector. Okay, so just like the 20 amp, I'm just going to slide the connector into the base of the mobile charging unit. Okay, once you hear it click, you are ready to go. I'm going to, again, make sure this is my 50 amp switch going to make sure that it's in the off position and then I am good to plug this in okay <laughs> takes a little bit of bustle and then I can flip this on and again I would now be ready to plug this in this end into my adventure vehicle. Okay, I can turn this off now. <laughs> okay, so that is it for the mobile charging unit. I am lucky here with this campground because we have all three outlets that you could want to have, the 20 amp, the 30 amp, and the 50 amp. Most RVs connect to the 30 amp. So a 50 amp outlet is a big bonus because only your gigantic motorhomes, your fifth wheels, the really, really big ones are going to use 50 amp. So it isn't that common. A lot of campgrounds, they don't have pads, the concrete pads, large enough to accommodate great big giant ones so you might only have the option of plugging into either a 20 amp if it's ground down or getting an adapter to be able to use the 30 amp <laughs> don't know why i'm holding this this is not the adapter <laughs> this is the adapter make sure that you do not get an rv 50 amp to 30 amp adapter that will not work but this is specifically made for an electric vehicle you need an electric vehicle 50 amp to 30 amp adapter <laughs> if it is not meant for an electric vehicle will not work learned that the hard way <laughs> it would totally be such a bummer to get all the way out into the middle of nowhere to the forest or park that you're going to and then realize you do not have the right adapter and now oh my goodness how are you going to charge so this is the one that i chose and i'll link it down below it is not sponsored but it works and i really love it and this one has a light on the side so that you can look at it and visually make sure that this part is getting electricity and that this part is working before you continue to plug it into your vehicle. I'm going to leave the 50 amp connector plugged into my mobile charging unit and this 50 amp is going to plug into this side of the adapter and then the 30 amp side of the adapter is going to plug in right here in my middle outlet which is the 30 amp. Notice the 50 amp has four prongs and the 30 amp has three so you really can't mix these up they're not going to be able to go into the wrong outlet it's just not going to work on the 50 amp you have two hot prongs a ground up at the top and a neutral at the bottom and on the 30 you have a hot a neutral and a ground these are made with the ground face up it's only the 20 amp that is going to be in reverse, but these are meant to be upside down where this one is not. The ground is down and here the ground is up. So <laughs> it 
into all chaos. Okay, so I'm going to, again, make sure that my switch is off for the 30 amp. And I'm going to plug this top part into my 30 amp. Now I'm going to take my mobile charging unit, thank you Ford, and with the 50 amp, I'm going to plug that, I don't think you can see that, but I'm going to plug it in, I'll show you like this, I'm going to plug this in, okay, <laughs> and now that the 50 amp connector to the mobile charging unit is plugged into my adapter. I can plug this 30 amp into the middle 30 amp outlet. And now, <laughs> stop that. <laughs> now when I turn the switch on, I should see the front of this light up. Okay, it's a really soft blue, but we have a steady blue light, so we are good with this. And now, I can take this end and just walk it, my electric vehicle is right here, I can just walk it to the front of my vehicle, open the charging port, plug it in, and I should immediately see that it's charging. Don't forget, you want to check three different places to ensure that you are actually getting a charge. You want to check the, the vehicle charging area. There should be some kind of indicator light. On the 40 Transit, we have a circle with five different segments and you'll have a steady blue for the portion of the vehicle that is fully charged and a blinking blue for where it is charging. Also, you wanna check the Ford Pass mobile app and ensure that it says you are charging there. You also wanna push the button to start the accessories in your vehicle so that the dash will light up so that you can see that it's charging and see the status of when the charging should be. I gotta get Stevie out of the rain. Stevie's my camera.